Hey everybody, Larry Greenberg here, and this is going to be a review of Twitterfon Pro for the iPhone. This app costs $4.99 in the App Store. There's also a light version which is free, but it doesn't include as many features. Now I've tried a lot of the Twitter applications, pretty much all of them I think. Tweety, Twitterlator, Twitterific. And I think I've settled on this one as being my go-to client for the time being. And I'll tell you why, and it's really for one simple reason. When I get into the review, I'll show you. I was using Tweety, I used Tweety on my Mac, and I was using Tweety on the iPhone, but this app has something that Tweety doesn't, which I really actually enjoy. So there's the icon that, that's themed, but when you launch the app, it immediately loads rather quickly, I must say, your timeline. And right away, you can see the one thing that differentiates it from Twitter or from Tweety, excuse me, is the little badge notification at the bottom. It tells you exactly the number of new tweets that you have since you left, last exited the app. The same thing goes for at replies and d direct messages. I know if you guys know Tweety, you know that you actually have to go into the mentions of the at reply section to see if there's any new messages waiting. It doesn't notify you, you know, at all which isn't a you know terrible thing, but I really like seeing exactly how many new tweets I have to read. Now, like most of the Twitter apps out there, it does jump to your last um, read tweet, so you don't have to scroll from the top down. You can scroll from where you last read and then scroll up. When you wanna read a tweet, it's quite simple, you just tap on it. You can, of course, read it in the timeline, but you know this gives you a full view, it gives you the person's profile that sent you the tweet, it gives you the actual tweet, and then it gives you buttons to reply, send a direct message, or retweet. Then you can also view this user's timeline just by clicking on that little button right there. It loads it very quickly. And again, um, if you click on his avatar, the person's avatar, it shows you their profile, who they're following. You can block and unblock. You can remove the user. Uh, you know, all that good stuff right from the app. Really nice. So same thing goes for at replies. You know, when you're reading your at replies, uh, again, if I had any new ones right now, it would show the number under the at reply section. And the same thing for direct messages. You can favorite tweets, which I don't really do. And then it has the option to search, you know, by area, which most of these Twitter apps do. Um, let me show you the settings because it does have a couple things that, you know, are kind of cool. Uh, when you go into settings, one of the things about the Twitter Phone Pro application is you can actually have multiple accounts. With the Twitter phone that's free, you cannot. So under the settings, you have your account information. You can set it up whether you want, you know, all three things to auto load, uh, timeline mentions and direct messages, or just, you know, two or one which is nice. There's four themes. I'm using the built-in Twitter font one. There's a black version as well. Let me show you what that looks like. You actually have to exit the app for it to uh, take effect. But let me show you what the all black one looks like. You know, it's kind of cool. There's the all black. Um, unread ones change color. Unfortunately, I don't have any unread ones right now. Um, again, changing the theme is real simple and there's four of them. I like the one that they just call Twitter font the best though. Um, you can also set which um, picture service you use, whether it's TwitPic or uploading pictures to Flickr. You can add a bookmark to Safari, so you can you know, tweet links from in Safari as well. The nice, other nice thing about this app is it does work with Boxcar to give you push notifications. Uh, you know, you get the notifications right on, you can see how quick it just loaded, right on your um, any screen you're at, and you can launch and view the notification right in the app itself. So it does work with Boxcar, which I really like. Composing is very simple. You know, it looks similar to most Twitter applications, similar to the SMS app, but uh, you can, you know, compose uh, tweets right from here. Uh, you can add photos. You can shoot video. Uh, you can choose existing media. Video, of course, for the 3GS. Uh, you can tweet your location, which is nice. And then you can actually, um, if you want to compose a tweet and you don't know the, you know, the person that you're following, if you don't know his Twitter name, you can actually bring up this address book of all the people you're following and then just, you know, pick one and it actually puts it right in. And that's actually happened to me a lot. I, you know, I don't, I know all my friends obviously, but I don't necessarily all know all their own, their own Twitter names by heart. So instead of having to like go back and look for one of their tweets, I just, you know, use that little address book in there to find the person that I want to tweet to and, uh, you know, it gives me their name. You can actually search too in that little box. So um, that's really in a nutshell why I've, I've kind of gone to this app. I haven't had a crash yet, knock on wood. 
I was using Twitterific, and I was pretty happy with that until I started to have a lot of crashes with it. Um, but I, I have been having no crashes with Twitter phone yet. So it's worked really well. So until one of the, the big apps like this one or Twitter later or Tweety comes out with push notification built into the app, I think this is going to be my go-to Twitter application from now on. I like all its features. It's a small, clean look. That's the other thing I seem to like about it versus Tweety. You can view more tweets on the screen. Maybe that's just me, but to me it seems more compact. Tweety seems to take up a lot of screen space and I have to constantly scroll through to read tweets. Um, I like how compact this is. So check out Twitter Phone uh, Pro or the light free version if you, you know, don't want the extra features. Check it out in the App Store. If you have any questions about this one, please feel free to drop me an email. Otherwise, you have a great day.